Hi, I'm Stephanie Hsu from Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can run your time-bound apps with Spot Instances. In case you're new to Spot, let's start with the basics. Spot Instances are spare EC2 capacity that are available to use at savings of up to 90% off on-demand prices. If we need the capacity back, we'll give you a two-minute warning. Spot Instances are a great way to optimize your costs on AWS Cloud or scale your application's throughput up to 10x for the same budget. While interruptions are rare, it can happen, but that doesn't mean you can't run your time-bound applications on Spot. In this video, I will share some best practices to follow on how to architect your applications to minimize the chances of this occurring. So what's a time-bound application? Let's start by clarifying what I mean. Workloads can be broken into two categories, time-insensitive and time-sensitive. Time-insensitive workloads include experiments, test dev, and one-time queries. These are workloads that don't have a defined SLA. On the other hand, time-sensitive workloads such as web services, APIs, big data, grid computing, and containers do, and it is critical for application teams to have confidence that workloads will complete in a specified time frame and that required EC2 capacity will remain available. Spot instances work great for both types of workloads, but today I'll be focusing on time-sensitive applications. There are some best practices for time-sensitive apps to keep in mind that will maximize your success. First, you want your application to be stateless. This will allow you to easily redeploy your workload to another instance type if you do happen to be interrupted. Second, your application must be fault tolerant. As I mentioned earlier, AWS can reclaim spot capacity when needed, so it is important that your application can withstand interruption without disrupting your end users. Third, it's best if your application can support multiple availability zones. And lastly, your application should be loosely coupled so that you don't run the risk of crashing the entire application if a single node dies. Okay, now you know what types of applications work best on Spot. Let's switch gears to focus on what the right number of instance sizes or families is to use to maximize availability for your time-bound application. The best way to think about this is in terms of capacity pools. To determine the number of capacity pools you have available for your application, calculate the number of instance sizes you can use for your workload, times the number of instance families you can use, times the number of availability zones, and that's your total number of capacity pools. There's no perfect number of capacity pools, but in general, we advise you have between three to 21 capacity pools for your application to minimize the impact of an interruption occurring if we need to take back capacity on a specific instance type. If the idea of managing multiple instance types and sizes sounds complex, take a look at SpotFleet. SpotFleet will automate the management of spot instances based on your specific requirements and thresholds, and it will detect disrupted instances and automatically replace them to ensure that your application gets the desired amount of compute capacity. With SpotFleet, you can launch thousands of spot instances with a single API call, optimize based on price versus availability, and create your own capacity units based on your application requirements. For time-sensitive apps, we recommend optimizing your fleet based on availability to diversify across multiple instance pools and utilize instances least likely to be disrupted. In this video, I've provided you with best practices for running time-bound applications on Spot. To learn more about EC2 Spot instances, visit aws.amazon.com forward slash EC2 forward slash Spot. Thanks for watching.